Alright, this is Muffo See That. Today is the 30th of January, 2012. And this is like kind of my haul video. Now you're probably asking yourself, dude, why do you have such a big bag for not a lot of stuff? Well, that's because. Wait, let me turn around the other way so I can see with you. Well, I got the food over at the Nijia Markets. Oh, let's see. So yeah, I've been busy since when was the last time I uploaded a video? Christmas? Since Christmas. So, because I've been very busy with school and such, so... Here is... Kamen Rider HDM Sotsu, Sozetsu. So it's like it's like a mini statuette, ultimate figure style with high quality molding. So Japanese PCV ABS. Here's the outline of the figures you get. These are. Things you can know who they are, but they show you in the back. So the Kamen Ozu, the Putu Tira Combo, Kamen Rider V3, Kamen Rider Super One, and Kamen Rider Kick Hopper and Punch Hopper. So let's see who I get. I love these, the Japanese. Candy toy. I'm saying candy toy because that's what most of these are. They have like candy included with them. So it's my broad definition. Of all of these, even though this might not even have candy in them. But it does. So if you look in here, you see there are instructions for all of them, because this is a blind box packaging. I got Kick Hoppa. So let's... And let me get these out and then I'll assemble them right now. Alright, I got these open up so let's get the camera rider kick hopper assembled so here's the stand get the leg out let's see which one this fits on I mean not okay mr. lefty no that's just right but I'm stupid The anchor jack on here, that's what it's called. I believe, I can't remember. The Buto was a while ago, but there you go. There. There's the rest of them. Let's get his ears on. Let's get in closer. Right, right, it's the other side. You forgetting? Oh no, wait, this is like the hopper legs because the head is right there. Other side attached on heels. Did this thing work? Yes, it worked. Is there a beard? I don't know. 
And now look at this. It's fantastic. Because this is a hyper detailed statue. Well, it doesn't exactly move. So I'll put this in the background. Right there, and at the end, I'll show you all the stuff I've done. Now, here's something. This is new. I haven't seen this before. Fusion Works Gundam Reverse SP01. This is the fully equipped V Gundam. This is Sazabi. This cost me like 20. 20. 25 bucks. See, this is new www.bandicalljp slash candy modeling by bcraft see like their stats backstory or bio and I said, yeah it's pretty cool so let's you open this side I open Gundam side first And here, one thing, so I gotta, I have to check the other side. And this one, this is gum candy. Oh, so here's, this is Sazabi, and here's V Gundam. Okay, yeah, so uh, from the looking in here, I guess it's the same. So. Oh, yeah, these is for protecting soft pieces. So, let's... so I'm gonna open up uh, Sazabi and then uh, we'll see what goes from there. Alright, so let's, let's do this. So I'm gonna take out the base. Pretty cool. Pretty damn nice base. Get, get this fire off the damn way. Get the base body. It looks pretty damn cool. I mean, it's like the SD type, but it's still pretty damn cool. Look, it doesn't even hinder the feet at all. It just goes into the stuff that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at the back and see what we can do here. First thing I'll do, I'll attach the gun hand down here. Ooh. Well, we can mix and match. That's good. The arms are articulate. Because they're just pegs, or isn't ball joints so you can do s stuff very easily. Let's get shield on. Pretty good detail on this. Let's get the boosters and the missiles on here. Ah, let's see what side this goes on. This is the right side. Here's the left side. I love the details on these guys. And though they can't really move that much, I love the detail. So let's get the head and the crest out here.
Alright, so here's the little head crest. I mean, there's even detail in the back where you wouldn't normally see it. Where's the head? Here it is. Oh, this is what guys on the ball joint. At least the eyes are. I mean, seriously. It's on a ball joint. The head is actually a freaking ball, so you can move this anywhere. It's pretty damn yeah, cool. So let's attach the crest on here to finish off the top of the head. Alright, well, while well, I'll try to get the head on, I'll cut up the Gundam's package and then I'll go on from there. Okay, so I got the V Gundam all set up. Let's take out the base. And then behind Zapanzo. Base dance like a regular fur feet. Let's get the base body down here. Come on, little dude. So the detail is pretty damn nice on here. See, it looks like he's been weathered, but not really. Just like the other one, he has no head movement. He has arm movement, though. Which is pretty cool. And look at the detail on the back. I mean, it's just oh, fantastic. Get these on here. Put on the... And I can't remember what they call these anymore, but they just hook on there so all the feet hang down. Ooh, what do I want on here? What do I want on here? Let's get the alternate hand with the bazooka on. Well, let's connect them. So this is the alternate hand for this one, which is, I'm going to put the gun on here first. Gun hand. That's pretty cool though, they, they include an alternate hand for your suit destroying needs. Let's pop this arm off though. Oh, there we go. See, it pops at an angle here. You can move it outwards. So let's get the shield on before, and then we move on to the back, and then the head press. There's a little button here, and just. Oof. Fantastic. Let's get backpack, two sides pack on here. See so here, this is it's all is. I forgot, but I'm pretty sure this might have been the ammo for him. It's just. And here's one of his beam sabers. Get that all connected up and sit that on the back. Come on now. It smells like the Gundam Fix figuration line. It's really neat. There we go. And all that's left is the pretty damn good V3 Gundam head crest. Pretty nice detail. 
it was just attached on there. It's pretty cool. Nice. So I'll put that over here. Gun. Then I'm gonna show you the other store that I went to. It won't let me get my wallet on. So here's the other bag of stuff I got. Got it at the Tokyo Torn store, just on the left side of the Ninjia Market. See, it's in Torrance on West 82nd Street. And you see, I got upside down heart. That's the stamp sheet. I get nine more times. I get 20% off on my next purchase. So I'm after nine more times, probably within a few years, because I don't really go there that often. I will. I might buy the, one of the Gundam models they have there. Oh no, Victory Gundam, no! So this purchase was like strictly common Rider. So I'll go with the big box first, since that's in the way. This is the mask common Rider belt tribute the third third uh, about seven bucks so here there's like two three four five six seven eight belts got on Delta uh, Kuga mighty form Ryuki regular Fies regular ultimate Kuga G3, G3X, and G, that other one where the, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Zonky's belt, I'm not sure, but I'll check on that later. So he used a more close-up on the belts and how, yeah, this is the, the bonus belt, this is the, lucky. this is the shocker belt, because I saw this play one on the side, pretty cool. Let's see, where should I open this? I'll start, I'll start on the bottom. The top. Sorry for that interruption. <laughs> Let's get back to what we had here. And it is. Garen's belt. Which is pretty cool. There's backstory on it. Because I know it's backstory because it says board here. Nice little backing. Just well, gonna be right back and then I'll submit it on camera. So, yeah, all right. So, yes, I opened it up. And so, let's get belt out first. Let's get the stand out for it. So here's the base state base which says mask rider. This is a generic one. I'll just I'll pop this on here. Nice. Let's see it includes the stand. Pop it in. This here. Look look at the belt. This is pretty nice. For the cards. Very nice backing here. You just 
pop that on. So let me clean this and I'll get to, I'll decide on which one I'll get to, alright? I'll see you later. Alright, so I decided to do the Kamen Rider V, Kamen Rider bottle cap selection free. So, there's four. Kamen Rider V free, Rider Man, Kamen Rider Ruki Survive, Zolda, and for the villains. Man, I don't... This is a shocker, I know that. Yeah, these are all from the original series and V3. Because I can't remember these villains. I might remember this one, but I know this guy for sure. It is just $2. Pretty cool, so let's open the top. See. Wow. Oh yeah, so the other one, the belt was the first one I got. It didn't have like candy, fizzy candy or bubble gum. I'm pretty sure this won't either since it's just it's like a bottle cap. Jeez. And here's like the base for it if you don't want to put it. Salamander. <laughs> <laughs> Where have I seen that before? Turn it upside down here. Uh, so, I was a bit disappointed, but this is plastic. But there, it's been dry but brushed and weathered to make it look like it's real goat in here. It's like the bloody face for it, but you can just... So I know the bottom here is freaking empty, so give me like a minute to see if this can open. Okay, so I did get it off, a little bit of effort, and you say, see the label inside, so you can put it on anything like my mango capico, just put it over it, or if you lose the lid, you can just put it on there, because this is about the same size, roughly. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. My first villain from any of the Kamen Rider series because usually I'm big on collecting the heroes from Kamen Rider because most of the time the villains are in soft toy version. So it's just movable arms. It's kind of like these but more soft vinyl like the old Godzilla toy. So let's put him on here and then let's get here, the Deno. Four dollars. So let's see what we can get. We can get Rutaro. Oh my god. Deneb. Seg. Adeno. Blank form. I'm gonna say blank because I can't remember. The hell was his name. Here is Deno sword form. Mamotaros. Urataros. And Kintaros. I'm assuming because there's text around them, I assume they can talk. Okay, so I got a bubble head. You got the sticker, PCV, ABS, back. And, uh, the QR code, I believe. That it's called the QR code. So let's see who we've got. And ooh, hey there. So here it is, plexuring. And there's a little sticker sheet if you don't know who the hell the others you want to collect if you want to throw it in a box. But there we go. Kintaros. Let's 
get this clamshell packaging off of them. And I'm assuming this is the name or something. Oh, it's a bobblehead. No, yeah, no, it's too small to have any batteries in it, so it's just some random phrases it says, but it's a bobblehead. It's pretty cool. You get a, some one-sided tape on here. You put it on your car dash. Just bobble, 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 bobble. All right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna put these on the shelf over there with my other stuff that I have collected. Okay, so this is where I keep most of my like, stuff that I get. So here's two of the hyper detail figures I got here. Regular Kiva in here and Kiva Emperor. These for from the Kamen Rider heads. So whatever. I got Fize here which came up with the light up stand. Delta here didn't know he came with a blank the base stand. Uh, what not base stands. Reg regular stands so you can switch so you can have delta light up instead of thighs but whatever <clears throat> these are rather old so I need to dust them off later so here's kick hopper I think I'll put them over here just staring down at delta and make them more cool And I'll put the belt, since it's such, so big, I'll put it over here on this side. Let's see. Right down there. Here's the old Kamen Rider. So I will put it here. And Kintaro, since he's smaller, and I don't have a car yet, the Kintaro's bobblehead down here. Get the candy. You see that old comrade with the um. The double candy toys. This is why I keep all the candy toys that I've had over the years because they don't really expire. And if they do, well, I'm gonna find out in a few years. No, wouldn't I? So I'll I'll put the gun buttons over here. Mini gun buttons. So I'll put. So Zabi on this side, and I'll put fully armored Victory Gundam over on this side, and then his bazooka hand will go on this side. Of him right behind. And the reason I'm saying you, you hear weird noises from me because of this. My console stuff down here is a my backpack down here. A tripod. Where's that? And there's not a lot of space to move here. So. And down here is the boxes I keep. Here's some old markers. And there's some other stuff from the Hyper Hobby magazines, and right there is the Godzilla I had out back that I showed you. There's those are all my instructions since like freaking 2000. I have one for toys I don't even have anymore. Here's the other stuff: Goosebumps, Motor Mania. And there we go into. Some of my Bionicle I have in the evac box. Neo shifters. And some other random stuff in here. 
Uh, so since I've been doing these in segments, I don't know how freaking long it is, but I imagine it is quite long. So I apologize for that, but I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Mofo See That, and I hope we'll see more of my videos in the future. So, see you later.